Hey everybody, it's Christy with Betty Chic Boutique. I am a part-time Poshmark reseller. You can find me on Poshmark at Betty Chic 1116, or you can also find me on Instagram at Betty Chic Boutique. And uh, the topic for today's video is one uh, that I thought was pretty interesting and one that deserves a little bit of coverage, especially as I've hit a personal milestone on Poshmark just this past weekend. So I posted on Facebook um, a cut of my Poshmark stats because I was just waiting uh, last weekend for the sale that was gonna put me over the top and I hit $10,000 in gross sales on Poshmark since I started. So this isn't like just the past year or anything like that. It is um, since I started on Poshmark in March of 2018, I have finally hit that $10,000 in sales uh, milestone, which was very exciting. I was really thrilled about that. I mean, I to think about the fact that I've sold $10,000 in goods, you know, clothes on Poshmark, who knew that kind of thing was possible? So, I mean, I know that I'm hustling and I'm bustling and I'm getting out there and, um, and I'm going to keep doing it. I'm already thinking about how I'm going to evolve things, you know, for the next milestone um, in sales. But ironically, when I posted this uh, on Facebook, and I, I've gotten a lot of attention on that post, far more um, than any other post that I've made, a lot of people saying congratulations, uh, so many thoughtful people saying, you know, that I was an inspiration. I had some people sending me personal messages asking for tips and advice. Um, on their own closets, and so that was that was really great. Um, and of course, I am happy to share whatever I know or I can, you know, help with. But on the same day that I posted that on Facebook, I happened to be watching Facebook, like I do, um, or I happen to be watching YouTube, uh, and I am a big uh, proponent of learning through watching what others are doing, other successful sellers on Poshmark. So I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos and I'm going to link to the video that I'm talking about. It's from Amber Resells um, and I thought it was a really great video because she, so for her she was saying she was doing a little bit of a rant but actually I think it was level setting what it means when we say, you know, we've sold X amount of dollars on Poshmark. And even though I posted the cut, you know, of that, that little snippet from my Poshmark stats, where it says, you know, total sales, you know, just over 10,000, it was like $10,010. I, I think it's important to clarify and just kind of level set and remind everyone that that isn't $10,000 in profit. And that was kind of the whole point of Amber's video is she was talking about that there are a lot of things that go into um, how successful someone is on Poshmark beyond just gross sales, because that is the, the number of dollars um, that I have, of course, sold, but that doesn't include the cost of doing business. And so this is, you know, I labeled this video uh, Real Talk, you know, Real Reseller Talk, because I want to talk about that a little bit and what this looks like for me. So $10,000 of gross sales into my journey on Poshmark in just a little under two years. You see a lot of uh, the Poshmark commercials and things like that, and they talk about, you know, that they've been able to subsidize or pay for vacations and weddings and all sorts of things with their Poshmark earnings. And uh, $10,000, if that was truly how much money I had made on Poshmark so far, I would be even more delighted. But that's not the case. Uh, in In all actuality, when you go back and you look at how much it's cost me so far to be doing my Poshmark business. I'm on the positive side, no doubt about it. I have made a profit in this time on Poshmark, but it's not nearly as much as you would perhaps think it would be. One of those reasons is I have been making the strategic decision for my business that I am going to uh, invest in a lot of inventory and I am turning my focus to becoming more of a high volume seller. 
last summer, so about six months ago, I was really concerned about my um, average sale price. And so I was looking at increasing that. I was hoping to get that to be about $20. And so I was starting to uh, pay up for items that I thought I could turn around and sell for um, those higher price points. Now those types of items are a bit harder for me to come by. I do have a couple of different sources that I can go to and I can find more of those um, higher end brands, but I mentioned I'm paying up for those. And so that definitely increased when you start looking at my cost of goods. Out of that $10,000, just to be very transparent, uh, a little more than half of that has gone into inventory. So a little bit more than $5,000 I have spent investing in inventory for my Poshmark closet. Of course, the great thing is everything that I bought are things that I can sell. So that's not like sunk costs, like some of my other things that I've been paying for, but inventory has taken a huge chunk out of that $10,000. Then we look at things like supplies. So an office supplies, things that, you know, I felt like I needed to help grow my business. That kind of goes back to my video that I did um, just this last video and my first um, tip, which was for re maintaining reseller sanity, the whole, you don't need it all right away. So I have tried to be thoughtful about what I'm investing sunk costs into in terms of things that I need to uh, be able to run my Poshmark business. Things like the light ring that you see back here, um, things like um, a thermal printer and uh, polymer mailers, which I am not going to do anymore. The little cute, fancy polymer mailers, things like that. Uh, a steamer. I just bought like a commercial grade steamer last weekend on eBay or it was during Black Friday sales, something like that. Um, so th those things cost some serious cash. And so I've probably spent somewhere between a thousand to $2,000 on supplies to run my business. And those are sunk costs. Those aren't things that I can necessarily, you know, turn around and be selling unless I'm upgrading things. So then the other thing that I invested money in uh, this year was going to Poshfest. So I did get, you know, I had my ticket. Luckily I had miles, so I used miles to fly, but I had, you know, two nights in a hotel, two, three nights in a hotel, um, as well as, you know, expenses around that. So I pegged that about $1,000 that I spent to go to Poshfest. So all in all, we're adding this up around um, my cost of goods for my inventory, the supplies and admin costs that I've invested in my business, and then traveling to Poshfest and attending Poshfest this year, it's probably around $8,000. So I've made 10, um, I've invested eight back into the business. I'm still, like I said, I'm still on the positive side. I still have $2,000 and $2,000, oops, I had a little notification popped up on my phone. I wanted to get rid of that. Um, nothing to sneeze at. Of course, you can do a lot with $2,000, but I want to make more money and have more money actually in my pocket versus having it sitting in inventory or right now investing in any other tools for my Poshmark business. So I'm going to, I swear, I swear I'm publicly stating this right now. It is December 13th. I am not going to source anymore this year. I just went and I sourced again today because my local clothes mentor was having a $1, $2 sale on all of their clearance. I did have a plan when I went in there. The plan went a little bit out the window, which always happens when I go sourcing. But I still have a rack of things from my Goodwill thrift um, a week, two weeks ago now. I have uh, three more bags sitting in my trunk from going to a 90% off clearance sale at a different clothes mentor last week. Now I have three more bags um, sitting in my car from the $1, $2 sale at the clothes mentor today. I don't need to buy any more inventory. I've said it out loud. I am going to stop sourcing for at least the rest of the year. Uh, and really I'm tapping out in terms of inventory space. I would love to have or run around a thousand active listings in my closet. I'm around 600 right now. I've definitely pushed that up since I did my um, 100 item listing challenge. 
but I'm running out of space and I need, so I, I think I'm going to top out probably about 750 to 800 items. And that's really all I have the space for. So once I hit that, once I get all of these things listed, which by the time I have all of this stuff listed, I should be right around that 750 to 800 item mark. What I'm going to start doing is going back through all of my other listings and or all of my listings and just updating keywords and things like that. So I'm, I'm, stop, I'm going to stop sourcing. Clearly, that is where the bulk of my money is going back into reinvesting in my business is in inventory. And so I really need to think about looking at that strategy for next year. Like I said, it's great. I've made, I've sold $10,000 on Poshmark in the last less than two years. I have made money in my pocket, $2,000. That's the real, that's, that, that's the realistic thing that that's, that's what's happened. And so as you, as you look at how much money you are making on Poshmark, I think it's important for you to also consider like how much you're spending and how much you've invested because even if you've sold, you know, $2,000, if you've only invested like $400, then, you know, you're making a lot of money. And it's important to have that perspective and that context when you're thinking about how much money you've made on Poshmark. So hopefully this was helpful. I would love to hear any comments from ever, anyone about, you know, kind of your journey so far and how things have been going for you and maybe what your percentage is, because obviously 50% of my uh, my gross sales has gone back into my inventory. What do your percentages look like? I don't know, because I haven't really heard a lot about that from um, other sellers. I would love to hear more about that for you. If you find uh, this video content helpful, I would love it if you would click the thumbs up button. Even better, if you would like to receive notifications about future videos from me, you can click the subscribe button and you will be notified of all upcoming videos that I post. So again, my name is Christy. I am a part-time Poshmark reseller. You can find my closet on Poshmark at bettychic1116. You can also find me on Instagram if that's where you like to hang out. I'm trying to post more Instagram content. I posted a funny thing today. Um, I had to get an MRI done on my knee. And so I had hospital or like the little scrubby things that they give you to wear. So I even posted that just for something to, to change things up a little bit uh, <laughs> in terms of what I'm posting on my Instagram, not just uh, strictly Poshmark stuff, but I'd, I'd love to have you follow me there and I'll follow you back. And so um, have a great one. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.